Sunday morning. We're eating waffles. So much for being a day of rest, eh? Hey? Is that good? <coughs> yeah, you're being a stinker. You're being a stinker. <coughs> yeah, well, I'll get the coffee going. It's gonna make the day much better. You already ate one whole waffle, and now you're on to the next one? Just a waffle eating machine today. No sign of going back to sleep, eh? You're unbelievable. So now yesterday, Carmen had a great idea on how to handle her seedlings that she needed to transplant, but didn't want to mess around with them too much. So check this out. Look at this idea. Cucumbers need to be transplanted. Limited space. So put them in compostable coffee cups and we'll be able to transplant these directly to the ground when they're ready to go. Pretty cool. Well, the sun is up, but it's certainly not out today. We got, uh, looks like about six to eight inches of snow overnight here. So, lovely day. Spend some time in the chicken house. See if we can't build a new feeder today as well. Give the girls a little bit of bacon. They just love that. Look at them go. Can't beat a bit of Sunday breakfast. Now I know for many of you, uh, the world has changed significantly and you might be worried about the future. Not sure what it holds. The new normal just doesn't seem normal at all. Uh, so I did want to share with you a, a verse that I read this morning. So this is Philippians 4, verses 8 and 9. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. So while it might be difficult to do so in these uh, tough economic and, and very uncertain times, set your mind to things that are good. I don't know if you can see how hard it's snowing here, but... We won't be going anywhere today by the looks of things. Oh well, I'm gonna hunker down and sit in front of the fireplace. So Sunday isn't really a, a day of rest for us. It's just a day to uh, maybe work on a couple of smaller projects without getting too crazy. I uh, did want to get this uh, trough style feeder built so that we can uh, feed our fermented feed just a little bit easier. So we're gonna cut this one to length and uh, then use a jigsaw to cut out the trough section of the pipe and we'll put some end caps in and then figure out how we're gonna hang it. Now I've got this piece of pipe cut to length and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a two by four on the top of it and make a mark on both sides so that we'll end up with a three and a half inch uh, opening on the top of the trough. So now I've got my markings there. They're not perfect, but Again, it doesn't, not super important, it's perfect. So I'm gonna cut this out with the saw and uh, we'll be on our way. So there you have it, very basic saw system. I'm gonna figure out some end caps here and uh, some hang with. So now we got a matching pair, we'll go ahead and get these installed. 
So I just cut this end piece out of some old uh, maple 2x4 we had sitting around and arced at the top so it fits perfectly with the uh, so top So slight change of plan. Bottom. You see I do I'm have the hooks in there and the and end caps on. Clean the trough out with the hose uh, or anything. One of the things I'm concerned okay, about is if I do see. hang this up and if it gets in the way then I gotta go ahead and readjust this thing. So I found it, these it old might actually turn out to be more of a pain in the back side than I think it will be. That we had at the end of the so driveway. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some Years legs ago. on this and have it freestanding uh, so on the floor. And if for any reason that doesn't work, well then I already have the hooks installed and I can hang it. So I'm gonna have a little bit of option A with the option to go to plan B if necessary. Fingers crossed this doesn't turn out to be a complete disaster. So all in all, I would say that's pretty positive so reception. It. It doesn't get much simpler I'm going to leave that. the other cone feeders hanging for now, uh, just until we know for sure that they're the going to uh, really get like accustomed it. to this and use it and not poop all over it. When I picked up my Bible this morning, there was a crease in the page, and uh, as I opened it up, it was right there at the top of the page. Uh, Deuteronomy 11, uh, verse 13. Oh, Ben, the great white snow dog. Hey, Miko. And it shall come to pass, to you shall hearken diligently unto my commandments, this which together. I command you this uh, day, to, to, to love neighbors, the Lord your God, and to serve with him each with other, all your heart, and with anything. all your soul, that I will give you the rain of your land in his due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in thy corn, and thy wine, and thy oil. And I will send grass in thy fields for thy cattle. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday, whether you're full. by yourself or you're with family and friends. If you need anything at all, please reach out to us. Enjoy your Sunday. So the weather should be Try fine not to enough go snow that we blind. need to stay home.